Hi guys, today I want to talk about five ways how you can be more confident on your YouTube videos. And some of these tips might also apply to other situations such as giving a talk or a presentation. But in this video, I will be focusing on YouTube videos. So in case you are someone who is considering to start a YouTube channel or you are in doubt about whether or not to continue your existing YouTube channel because perhaps you feel a lack of confidence, I hope that these tips here will be able to help you to gain more confidence. And here I won't be talking about how to fail confidence or how to merely appear confident on camera but I want to focus on how you can actually be confident by the way in case you're new to this channel I make videos on multiple careers career change and I want to help you to shape the kind of career that you want and that is the best fit for your life if you're curious to know more about multiple careers then you might want to check out my other video which I link up here by the way if you're enjoying this video so far then please give it a thumbs up and also if you don't want to miss out on my other videos also hit the subscribe button and don't forget forget to hit the little notification bell so that YouTube will actually notify you of my new videos. Number one is physical activity. You might already be familiar with the concept that self-talk and self-affirmation can help you to be more confident. And in many cases that works. But what is increasingly gaining more traction in the psychological literature is the opposite. Not only that your mindset, your positive mindset can influence your actions, but also the other way around that your actions ultimately influence your mindset. So instead of trying to get into the mindset first and then acting, you can start the other way around. Act first and that will in turn affect your mindset. So what this means for your YouTube video or your talks or your presentations is that you can first start with a physical action and that will get you into a confident mood. Some of the things that I like to do before I start recording my YouTube videos is that I sing. I love karaoke so I simply pick a song on YouTube and sing along to it. And the other thing that I also like to do is laugh. Every time I start recording my videos in the beginning I make tons of mistakes so there are plenty of bloopers. And I tend to use that to my advantage. I simply just laugh at myself. And by laughing about myself, just having a bit of humor, that's what gets me into a relaxed and more confident mood. Amy Cuddy talks a lot about power posing. Power posing is a self-improvement technique where you assume a pose which you mentally associate with being powerful. So that could, for example, be raising up your arms in a V position or placing your hands on your hips. And the theory is that by doing that before um, you give a talk, a presentation, or even recording a YouTube video that will make you feel more confident. The underlying science of this is still disputed but I would say go ahead and try it and if it works for you then it works. I personally strongly believe that your physical actions, your posture do strongly affect your mindset and your mental state. Number two is allow time for confidence to grow. Everything is a process and takes time. You just have to accept the fact that when recording your first 10, 20, 50 videos it's really different for each person, you might not feel as confident yet because confidence will grow over time. In general, in anything that you do, don't review yourself critically from second to second. That is just a too small of a time frame. Allow yourself more time. Let's say, for example, set yourself a goal of making your first 10 videos and see after that 10th video how your level of confidence has changed. It is highly possible that after the 10th video, your confidence level will be much higher than at the beginning. And after that 10th video, set yourself another goal. Make your next 50 videos and after that 50th video, then look back and see how your confidence level has grown. What I'm trying to say here that it's totally okay not to be as confident in the beginning. Try to put less expectations and less pressure on yourself. Let me read you a definition of confidence from psychology today. Confidence can be described as a belief in oneself that one has the ability to meet life's challenges and to succeed, and acting in a way that conveys that belief. Being confident requires having a realistic sense of one's capabilities and feeling secure in that knowledge. And here I want to stress the part where it says having belief in one's ability to meet life's challenges. So it makes sense that in order to have true confidence, you need to have already faced challenges and see yourself being able to conquer them. So after you actually made your first video, then you can tell yourself, I actually did it, that wasn't so tough at all. And then you go on to your next 10 videos and 
you look at your progress and with every video over time you will get more and more confident. Number three is to clarify the focus and the purpose of your video. Think about what the actual goal of making that video or giving that talk or presentation actually is. What message do you want to get out there? What kind of transformation do you want your viewers to have after watching your videos? If you've clarified this and you focus on this, you will not be able at the same time to focus on all the other things that make you less confident. For example, the way you look, how your hair, how your makeup, your clothes look, how you think you come across, how your voice sounds. There are so many things that could potentially make you feel less confident. But if you focus on what you want to say, then you can't at the same time think of that as well. And the more you focus on your purpose, the more confident you will be. Am I confident all of the time no not at all and i feel the least confident when i'm being idle and when i'm not doing anything for example when i've not recorded a youtube video for several weeks then my confidence level tends to go down but once i start and once i focus on my purpose that's when my confidence level rises again number four is to actually make continuous improvements i believe that confidence does not come from being perfect but it comes from seeing yourself being able to tackle challenges and making improvements. This is why confidence is not just a feeling. And that is why I am not the biggest fan of only doing self-affirmations. Don't get me wrong, I have nothing against self-affirmations or self-talk. I mean, I myself do that all the time, positive self-talk, but I don't believe that just doing that will be enough. Being confident means that you have the belief that you are actually able to tackle challenges. And the only way that you can actually believe that you are capable of that is if you already Already had the experience of facing a challenge and being able to conquer it. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you have to have the experience of making improvement on a regular basis. So what this means for your YouTube videos or presentations in general is that you have to try to make continuous improvements. Even though every time that you speak, that you record yourself, you only make 1% improvement. Because even though you only make 1% improvement each time, over the time that will turn into a positive snowball effect. And I think that the best way to improve your videos is to break down what you think makes up a good YouTube video. And that includes things such as the concept, speaking, production quality, including your audio, lighting and everything. And don't get me wrong, I myself am far, far away from where I ideally would like to be. But by next week, I'm about to make my 100th video. And when I look back at the first 10 videos that I made, I realized that I was able to make significant improvements. And that brings me back to the point that you do not have to be perfect in order to be confident. All that you really need is to see yourself being able to make improvements. Number five is that you have to become more confident in real life. Because I think that it's really rarely the case that someone is more confident on camera than they are in real life, except if they're acting. But here in this video, I'm not talking about faking confidence, but I'm talking talking about actually being confident. Most often it's the other way around. So let's just say that we could assign scores to levels of confidence. And let's say that in real life, your confidence level is at a seven. In that case, once you start recording yourself, once you hit the record button, your confidence level at that point might be a six or a five. If in real life, your confidence level is a seven, it is very rare that once you're recording yourself, suddenly that will jump up to a 10. So what I want to say is that if you want to become more confident in your YouTube videos, you need to be more confident in real life. That also means that you have to be more comfortable with yourself. You have to actually like yourself. You have to be comfortable with the way you look, with your voice, the way you come across and your personality. And liking yourself is different than loving yourself. You might love yourself in a sense that you want the best for yourself and you take care of yourself, but you don't really like yourself. Meaning, for example, you don't like the way you look, your voice, etc. So there's no way to become genuinely confident and comfortable on camera if in your real life you're not comfortable with yourself at all and you don't even like yourself. This topic is too huge and I won't even try to tackle it in this video. But the point here is that you have to work on your confidence not only online but especially offline. One important thing to note here is that there is such a thing as the right dose of confidence. Meaning that there is such thing as overconfidence and that that can also have a negative effect. Oftentimes in 
life, it is good if we are not 100% confident. That means that we leave some room for error and we realize the fact that not everything is 100% dependent on our efforts, but that there are a lot of external factors as well that we cannot control. But what about faking confidence? It is often said that you should fake it until you make it. And I support that, but only in part. I think it's okay to fake it just a bit to a certain level. And what I mean is this. Earlier, I was talking about the concept of power poses. Uh, for example, let's say that you get into a position where you put your hands on your hips. Um, perhaps in the beginning, you don't feel like putting your hands on your hips because you don't feel in that mood. So by placing your hands on your hips, in a way, it means that you are faking it. You are doing something that you um, didn't start it off feeling to do, but you did it anyway. So in, in that sense, you faked it. So you faked it just a bit, let's say for a few seconds. But after putting your hands on your hips, what happened is that somehow you became a bit more confident. So I think that if that technique works for you, then go for it. But what I would say is be careful not to fake it to that level where you become disconnected from yourself. That will come across to your viewers as very ingenuine. I hope this video was useful to you. If you'd like, please share with me in the comments what kind of confidence issues you yourself are struggling with. I thank you so much for watching, especially to those of you who stuck with me to the very end. Have an awesome day, all the best, and I hope to see you again soon. Okay, let's try that. These tips, these tips can also, these tips are not, um, okay, so,